Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Excel VBA Expert. In today's video, we are going to create this dashboard which is presented on the screen. Okay, from the sketch, we will be creating it. Okay, before proceeding further to creating this dashboard, let me tell you how and what actually this dashboard is showing us, right? And how this dashboard is helping us, right? So this dashboard is basically created, you know, on the data. The data we the data is you know very important aspect of the dashboard because on the data only we do create the dashboards, right? Create the dashboard and reports. So let me show you the data. This data I do have. This is the dummy data. Okay. So here the data we have region and location wise. Okay. How many products we sold? Okay. Okay. In which date? Okay. Or uh, in which date and how many quantities and how much sales we made? Right. Year wise, month wise. This is something which is up to you how you are reading the data. I always tell the people. Okay. Keep please read the data very very you know very carefully and field wise one by one read the data what data is telling to us right unless and if we will not understand the data we won't be able to you know create any kind of things okay it can also be report it can also be dashboard okay we need to understand the data first so here in the dashboard you guys can see okay i have given the three drop down one two and three okay so with with the help of these three drop down we have put the filter in the Punjab in 2019. Okay, in the Punjab in 2019. Okay, in the Ludhiana location, how many sales we made? Okay, in the January and what was the sales? How much sales we made in the month of Jan? Okay, in in 2019 year. Okay, and after that, simultaneously we also compared with the 2018. Okay, this is something which is called deep analysis. Okay, we did the deep analysis. Okay, how? how these things you know can be dynamic and how this can help the people to understand okay, how the company is performing right so here we have 2019 quantity 2019 sales and similar with the 2018 we also extracted out from the raw data okay so if and the comparison i have shown here so you guys can see 6.4 percent we made the more sales as compared 2018 okay 6.4 so in 2018 okay we the sales was 405 but in 2019 it was 431 it means 6.4 percent sales we you know made more okay in the month of january as compared 2018 okay i hope guys you are understanding because this is something which is you know deep analysis okay we we actually you know gone into the data we understood and now then we made and we you know extracted out the meaningful insights which really can help the leadership to take the decision okay how the company is performing and what are the improvement area where we really need to work on okay so let's start to create this dashboard first okay might be this video will be little you know longer okay so let's start to i'm just you know copy this data and creating new sheets okay and i'm closing this sheet now. okay i'm closing this sheet i closed it now we have only this data okay let me window dot display okay. so now let's start this is my row data okay this is the row data and we need to create one more sheet dashboard okay dashboard and the decoration is something which is up to you how you want to decorate your you know the dashboard i am just you know taking company company performance dashboard and this dashboard you know will be completely dynamic okay if the data is getting increase or decrease this will work okay and let's give the combination of the color going in the field fill effect it would be little dark green and the lighter one okay from click on ok and ok ok and i can give the white one ok so for the drop down i am going to create alt h m m i am merging it it would be region the region because we want to give the three filters ok on my dashboard the region year and location ok it also 
the color which is something you up to you whatever color that you want to give you guys can give okay i'm giving the lighter one okay okay and here this would be this color okay so you guys can copy and paste it copy paste So now we have done it. Okay, it, it would be region, then year, then location. Okay. Now let's create the drop down. Okay. So let's go. So there are two drop down which we can create simple all DL by pressing. So this would be not that much you know attractive. We need to make the dashboard very attractive. So we would be using form control. We need to go in the developer in insert. We would be using form control. In the form control, pick the combo box. Okay, and select it like this okay right click and format con format control and give the 3d shading okay and rest we will be doing and copy it you need to copy this and paste it copy and paste and copy and paste okay we did the copy and paste now let's assign the value to these drop down drop downs okay so in the row data i am creating one more sheet by the name of support in the support we i would copy this and we'll paste it region okay okay the location also copy and paste okay so here a couple of things new that you will learn okay copy and paste copy and paste now here can also be changed right so what we will be doing the minimum is 2016 so we will be writing here 2016 and let's give this here till this 2013 and copy and paste so we are going to assign these values into the drop down okay so what you guys can do you can create the naming range of these you know values i am just pressing ctrl shift f3 so i am creating the naming range by the name of region top row okay same with location one top row same with year okay you need just need to right click go in the format control in the region you need, you need to write region region okay and cell link you guys can do u1 okay and okay and here right click in the right just to right click format control okay here you need to write here in the location you given the u and then we will be giving now v1 okay so now you guys can see the value is coming right we need to assign the value in the location also the location will be this one copy right click you will be done right click format control location cell link would be w1 and okay so we can also select let's select something up so this is my region so you can write here region for the helping for for your help because you know we will be you know using the formula on the basis of these numbers which are coming okay so uh, okay so now year let's select the year this would be year okay now let's select the location in the location allahabad so it would be my up one okay great so what i want now i want to also get it is coming one so here i want to you know i want to get up because one is equal, equal equivalent to up okay 2016 is equivalent to one okay that suppose i'm changing 2018 so right now it's three so i want here whatever the values are being shown here okay in the drop down that value should come against these you know headers region here in up so already we have you know made the support sheet what we can do index we need to use index and give the array okay array comma row number in which row number okay the this value is coming up value is coming on one select and comma and one enter you guys can see okay then right now here you need to write index okay here we created the naming range and this one and one okay 2018 index okay index then uh, location then this row number and one 
okay whatever let me let me show you let me decrease the width okay whatever you know whatever value we will be changing in the drop down those values should get reflected here 2020 yes 2020 right great we did it we created and we assigned the value to these drop down successfully now very important task what we need to do we need to write here month okay in the month month then what would be the month month would be copy it and we also can create you know equal to row and then you can write text okay text and into 30 mm mm okay we can delete the last one now then what we need to do we need to get get the current year whatever year we will be selecting those year data should get reflected here okay so i would be writing here you know year uh, quantity 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 we need to show the units how many units we showed okay in this respective month so year would be always this one okay and after that after year we want to show sales right sales copy okay we did it and just you need to copy it again and paste it here also and get the e minus 1 2016 we need to also compare the year right we need to compare the values month on month also right and copy and then paste it and now is okay instead of this minus 1 so what i can do all that is 15 okay Great. So this is my current detail. It would be my current one and the previous. Okay. Let's make it little attractive. Let's give the you know lighter border. This one. Select the color. Color would be this. This one. This one. And click on OK. All right. So here we have given. Let's you know change the background also. You know now gradually it's looking better than before. Okay. Great. We have done this work so far. so now very important aspect which is for example i am changing the year it should also get changed 2018 versus 2016 here also we want to show the comparison comparison we need to show right percentage of quantity quantity okay percentage of how many percent we you know trend basically we can say quantity quantity trend or can say it's trend great okay let's give the background color same okay now very important thing to using the formula and to getting the output okay alignment you guys can change by yourself In two thousand eighteen, in UP, in the um, year of two thousand eighteen, in the location of Ludhiana, how many sales we made in the month of January? These are the criteria we need to follow. Okay, so let's use sum if equal to sum ifs and give the quantity column. Okay, then year 
in the year we need to select the, this year which came and freeze it then region you need to select okay and the region also we got it here put the filter okay very simple way i am telling you that how you guys can make this dashboard okay and give the ludhiana okay and okay now you guys can see in up ludhiana does not come okay in up alabad so if i will select alabad you guys can see okay but i have not you know given the criteria of month so also we need to select the month okay month would be this one okay, okay guys so we did it so we have got we have got the sales of two uh, we have got uh, the quantity of 2018 how many products we sold in the in the year of 2018 okay uh, under these criteria okay uh, the drop down okay in the, the under under these criteria which are in the drop down okay in 2018 okay month on month we have shown okay but again if i want to see okay in 2017 how many quantity we sold copy it and in the year year would be what would be the year column year row number year row number v2 where we have a v2 v2 so you guys can see v2 is here v3 okay so here you need to do minus one symbol as soon as you will do minus one 2018 will become 2017 that's it that's a little logic we need to put on here simple okay now you guys can see formula will remain same remain same we need to change the position column name k instead of j we need to put the k so what i guess what guys i can do i can copy it and paste it instead of j i can write here k these are the you know first first way you know to creating the dashboard okay now you guys can change this okay. just copy it and paste it here and do minus one simple now what we guys can see here what we can see now I'm going to compare it. I'm going to compare it. This quantity divided by this minus one. What it is telling me? Now you guys can tell me what this is telling me. What this trend telling me? Where, 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 where I mean how the company is performing? Simple. Okay. How the company is performing? And I want to also do the sales sales select and great now you guys can see we created the dashboard the very simple dashboard i would say okay very simple dashboard in the up in the year of 2018 okay in allahabad what we did in 2018 or in the month of january we sold 2356 product but if i would compare my this month with the last year okay with the last year so in the last year my performance and the company performance was much better than the current month it we sold 800 something you know uh, 800 something product but if i would compare the current one current month with the previous month i mean previous year month okay so the performance is very poor you guys can see minus 53.1 percent you know product lesser we i mean less we sold okay so the thing is not that much good right you guys can see okay if my product you know got sold more than i mean uh, if i would if i would talk about my quantity i sold 800 something product in 2017 so definitely sales also also would be you know as per the quantity so the guys you guys can see here we made minus one we also need to do okay okay here you guys can see in the up in Allahabad if I would change it Punjab okay Punjab under the Ludhiana because Allahabad does not come in the Punjab I would see I would select Ludhiana still the situation is same okay if I would 
change the year for example year i am changing 2017 now this is much better than 2000 if i would see the 2017 the company was performing very well okay as compared as compared 2016 in 2016 we made 345 sales but if i would see in the month of january in 2017 we made almost 100 you know 164 percent higher higher than the previous month you guys can see okay previously we sold 345 now we are in this month we sold in the month of january we sold 914 okay and our sale actually uh, we made the higher sale okay so this is how you guys can and this is how the management top management can take the decision on the basis of on the basis of this data and they can see the improvement area where they were in they need to work on and they can in they can improve the sales of the company so that the company will get grow up right so here we have done the lot of things this is a very simple dashboard without pivot table we used we made this dashboard okay i will also create one chart okay let me create the blank chart here i would be creating the blank chart this one okay i would select right click it and select data in add but you guys can select you can select the quantity and this one okay, okay. and then add select the sales trend select all these in the comparison we shown in edit give the legend okay. and click on ok alright if I would make it little you know dynamic for example I am right clicking it here format chart area not in the fill shadow we can give for example I am giving it size and properties i'm clicking on fill let's 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 make that you know this vis this visual little attractive so what we guys can do no we would be not giving it so blur we can increase the blurring and and that's it in the glow we did it already in soft edge 3D format. Let's make. Let's work on the bar now. Okay. All right. This is something you guys can you know decorate by yourself as well. I just did it. You guys can change the chart design as well from here. Whatever you feel, this is much better. This is something good. I see. Okay. This is something good. Now you guys can, if you will select anything, for example, I am selecting 2018. If I would compare now, you guys can see everything is going in, you know, in minus. I mean, the 2018 company performance is or was very poor, right? Everything is going in the minus. It means company is not performing good. If I would select, this is something, this is for the Punjab region. If I would select Bihar. In the Bihar, I would see Patna. Then in the Patna, it's also you know not that much good. But let's select UP in UP, Allahabad. Now see, no 2018 performance company perform com company performance was very poor. Let's select 2019. It's better. It's better than 2018. Okay for up region let's select the ludhiana and select punjab you know you guys can so this is how you guys can analyze the data very easily okay and this is how you guys can you know create any dashboard on the basis of any data you need to understand the data then you go ahead and make the dashboard okay then you need to use your little mind and always try it whenever you're creating the dashboard always try to make it attractive using form control okay using form control and apart from the form, form control if you can see the area wherein you can put the images shapes so that the whatever whatever and whoever is you know reviewing whoever is you know checking the file or you know checking this dashboard they will feel happy and they will feel you know that i can do anything you know 
they they will rely you know on the data on the data which you are showing in the dashboard okay so you need to understand the data first that is a very important respect okay to creating any dashboard i hope guys you have liked the video okay and and let's again meet in the next video with a new topic okay wherein again i will i'll bring you know something new topic or which really will help you to enhance your skills okay so thank you very much to you watching this video guys let's meet in the next video thank you very much bye bye